the beauty of the blues is that there's only 12 bars and is usually only three chords. So what that does is it provides a freedom of expression that is very appealing to uh, any soloing musician. You can take a, uh, you can take, you know, a lot of different inflections of uh, notes uh, within that pentatonic scale that we learned uh, that will um, give you a, a very expressive uh, way of um, getting your story across. So that being said, let's move on. All right, um, we have. Uh, Lick number one. All right, well the first lick, what you have is this right here. Okay, so that slide up here is actually moving into the second position of the minor pentatonic scale. But I'm not gonna show you the second position of the minor pentatonic scale right now, but I just want you to know that. That's all. Just keep that in the back of your mind. This is your number one finger, number two, number three, and number four. If you take those and you put those on the fretboard at the G position, the third fret per string, and use each fret above that, one, two, three, four, that will help you understand this chart much better okay so we're just going to call this third string first finger okay so it'll be simpler that way that's your starter point right there first finger third fret second finger fourth fret first finger, second string, third fret, and then just bar it across to hit the first string, third fret with your first finger. And then now comes the end of the last note in that is the so this inflection, this third finger on the uh, second string that you see in the lick, is just there as a anchor point to get that slide in there. And it sounds like this. There's two different ways you can play that. You can play that like this, where you kind of two down strokes right there, or you can play it the way it probably should be played, which is where you're all altern uh, where you're alternating your pick each time. So either way, okay, that's lick number one. All right, here's lick number two. Um, what we have is a very similar sounding lick to number one, but it's providing you with some new skills, okay? And what I mean by that, if you look at the um, chart, um, the uh, it's showing a bend whole tone which is kind of looks like a smiley face there from uh, your fourth finger so again one two three four okay you got four fingers we're working in the G position so third fret two three four all right so what we're gonna start this one on as you can see is the third finger on the third string, uh, which would be the uh, 
fifth fret, right? So it sounds, here's the lick, it sounds like this. So it sounds similar to the first lick in that, right? But we're utilizing a bend right here instead of, all right? And the reason for that is you bend a lot when you play blues and you want to learn how to bend. So I put it in there. Um, the lick itself is also, it, it performs a, a number of other functions other than uh, the, the first lick. So your positioning of your fingers here is a little bit different in that you don't alternate pick this lick, you sweep it, okay? Which means you, it's all down strokes. All right, so it's Now, I don't have a real strong. I broke this finger when I was a kid, and uh, I don't. It's not. It's not very, very strong at all. And I think that it would be acceptable to uh, use your third finger, so to do the bend, and it might be easier for you. But I'm going to show that to you too. the second lick all right so this brings us on to the third lick in this in this uh, lesson and these these uh, this is a cool lick um, and it's probably one of the easier ones that you'll learn um, it's as you can see from the chart it's one three one three Okay, so I'm asking you to bend this a quarter tone, or um, rather a half tone, which would be still in the minor pentatonic scale, right? So then you end it. Lick number four is probably one of my favorites. It's a cool, cool lick. And this is going to if you look at the chart you can see that it, it might be confusing to you but I'll, I'll clarify here in a sec okay uh, here you have uh, fret number three right which is where the one is all right and then you have your two is on the on the fourth fret and your three is on the fifth fret Okay, now, that positioning right there, those, the two and the three, it's like a small interval, it's a small chord, right? Now the biggest challenge you're going to have is playing those two notes only without playing any other note. So you, you need, to, it needs to sound, you see where it says slide two and three? You're sliding both of those two frets up. Okay, so it's kind of like a ZZ Top sort of thing happening there. So you finish the uh, second lesson uh, for Essential Blues Licks for the Beginner. Uh, I think that uh, that gives you a, a pretty good amount of stuff to practice between the uh, first um, lesson, which was uh, learning the chords for the 12-bar blues, then learning how the 12-bar blues progression works, and then, of course, the minor pentatonic scale. In addition, these four Essential Blues Licks. Um, 
I think what you'll find here is just the materials that you've learned so far are going to push you ahead pretty quickly. I would give it a couple of weeks of pretty intensive practice. Uh, everybody's different, so you know you might take a week, or the next guy might take three weeks. So you know, be patient with yourself and uh, follow follow the videos. Uh, go back and. Uh, you know, take screenshots of the uh, reference materials uh, so that you have hard copies or at least copy on your computer or just go back to the video. I don't mind the hits. Um, also, speaking of which, uh, feel free to uh, subscribe to my channel. I wish you would. Um, also, uh, comment. Uh, that helps me generate additional uh, materials um, and videos, reviews, whatever. And, uh, and like and dislike, of course. Um, I appreciate uh, your input in any way that you can, any way that you can provide it. Uh, we're going to continue uh, on to the third video, uh, the third lesson in this uh, uh, Foundation of the Blues series. Um, I'll be putting that video out probably in the, uh, very soon. It'll be not too far behind this one. So what that is is going to be is it's going to be practical application of everything that you learned in the first and second lessons. So we're going to take some backing tracks, some jam tracks, and uh, we're just going to kind of inflect some of these licks onto uh, these backing tracks so you can see where these licks are played, where the minor pentatonic scale is played. And I also want to show you an extended minor pentatonic called the blues scale. Um, and there's also a, another scale that's based on the minor pentatonic that I may or may not confuse you with. Uh, I'm going to show it to you, but I'm, I, don't, I don't know how much time we're going to spend on it. But at least you'll have the reference material for it, and you can practice with that on your own. Thanks for listening. I'm going to take it out. And I'm going to just play the licks that I showed you uh, over a backing track so you can see kind of how how it sound, how these licks sound in a 12-bar uh, blues. I'm just going to play those licks plus the minor pentatonic scale. So there will be a few notes in between, but you'll be able to pick out the licks. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like, dislike, and subscribe. Thanks very much.